Hi there, Dr. Tolson here with another episode of Vet Talk. It's a new year, and that means a lot of us have new pets in our house. If you've recently gotten a new cat, your, vet your veterinarian will likely recommend testing for feline leukemia virus and feline immunodeficiency virus. But what exactly are these diseases? Why do we care, and how do we test for them? Long story short, these are contagious viral diseases amongst cats that are usually spread via salivary transmission. That can be friendly cats that are doing mutual grooming in the house, or it can be not so friendly cats that are fighting at each other. The mom can also pass it down to the babies as well. When a cat has this, unfortunately, there is no cure. This is something that they're gonna have lifelong and it, it will eventually be fatal. The viruses themselves usually don't cause the death itself, but it can result in immunosuppression, which means something like a common cold can come along and that can be fatal. So this is a, a very serious deal if your cat has it. The reason why we recommend testing for it is because of how contagious it is and also how preventable it is. If you already have a cat in your house and you bring in a new cat that is positive for either of these, you need to test because we want to keep that other cat in your house safe. Also, let's say this new cat that you got, if that's going to be your only cat in your house, it's still beneficial to know if we have this or not because if we know in advance that a cat has either of these viruses, that helps me as the veterinarian be able to formulate a better game plan should this cat get sick in the future. We know in advance that it's going to be a lot more difficult to treat and we need to, we need to bring out the big guns from the very get-go. So it's very important to know this in advance. So how do we actually test for it? It's really quite simple. It just takes a few drops of blood. It's a test that we can do either here in-house or sometimes we'll send it out to a lab for the testing. And it's one that your cat probably will need testing for it at several points throughout their life. A lot of people may not be aware of it, but when your cat is sick, that is a test that you should always do. And when we send lab work out for ill cats, that's always included on the test. So just because you're negative at one point, doesn't mean you're always going to be negative. You could always pick the disease up later. But it's a simple blood test and it lets us know if we have that going on. Your veterinarian may recommend retesting in certain circumstances if a test comes up positive. So just follow their recommendation and their guidelines. So if you have a new cat and you need to get them tested for these viral diseases, give us a call or visit us online at manshackvet.com. That does it for today's Vet Talk. We'll catch you next time.